Shout it thunderous hallelujah. Shout and heaven rendering hallelujah. Our Lord is good all the time. Once again, beloved, on behalf of the Godhead, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we want to especially welcome us to this second edition of Hour of Glory broadcast in the year 2022. We pray according to God's words that say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We pray because you have come tonight to seek the good Lord, that God will answer and over answer concerning all your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, the world of glory is a specialized, Holy Ghost inspired broadcast meant to lift men, meant to lift up life, meant to transform destinies. Meant to heal, meant to deliver, meant to break evil yokes, meant to cause confusion in the camp of the enemy, and cause it turn around breakthrough in the life of brethren. I pray tonight that your experience will be so awesome that the God of Elijah, the God that answered by fire, will overdo concerning your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, by the grace of God, brethren, because it's a new year, oh yes. Upon our discussion last week, we centered on how to overcome your mountains, power to overcome your mountains. Tonight, we are going to be looking at the recipe for good success in the new year. We are going to be looking at recipe for a good success in the new year. Praise the name of the Lord. Beloved, from available biblical records and from all the experiences with the God of Elijah, the God that answered by fire, the God that worketh great signs and wonders. Amen? Succeeding in a year like this is rested on three pillars. Praise the name of the Lord. And those pillars are God's word, prayers, and faith. Praise the name of the Lord. And those are the components of the recipe we are going to be looking at tonight. In Joshua 1 verse 8, the Bible admonishes us to meditate on the God's word day in and day out that we may have good success. Also, too, in Luke 18, the Bible, same Bible admonished us to always pray and not faint. As many as would want to faint, of course, coincidentally or consequen consequently, surely their blessings also may faint. May that not be a portion this year. In the name of Jesus. Of course, we also know of that um, of that um, 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 maxim that says, no prayer, no, no, no power. No prayer, no success. Little prayer, little success. Much prayer, surely much success. Praise the name of the Lord. In the book of John 15, John 15 verse 7, John 15 verse 7, Jesus gave a command in John 15 verse 7. He said, If ye abide in me and my word abide in you, ye shall ask whatever ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Beloved, there is a connecting cord between the recipe, the recipe of faith, the recipe of the word, and prayers. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray as we utilize this opportunity tonight, your almighty God, Establish us in the new pedestra in year 2022 in Jesus' name. Quickly, before we go ahead, we need to give honor to whom honor is due. We need to praise our God who has been so wonderful in our matter, who has been so good towards us. He is the one behind every successes we have recorded so far. And to him shall every glory go in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Angels bow before. What a mighty God. We serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. We serve. Hallelujah. Oh, 
What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Angels bow before Him. What a mighty God. Oh, how we will say that you are good for all the miracles you've done that's brought us joy. And we are changed and I hope we are praising you right now. Oh, Father, we declare, Father, hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh. I say, Father, we declare, oh, hallelujah, oh, yeah, oh, say, Father, we declare, hallelujah, hallelujah, mighty, mighty Father, His name is higher above all the name. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. His name is higher above all the name. His name is Jesus. His name is. Oh, his name is Lord, his name is Aya, above all the name. His name is Jesus, his name is Lord, his name is Aya, above all the name. His name is Jesus, his name. Yes, you are the Lord, most high. Oh, yes, you are the Lord, mighty God. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, you are the Lord, oh. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Oh, yes, oh. Yes, you are the Lord. Our God is gold. Father, we thank you for your mercies tonight. Thank you for your faithfulness over our lives. Thank you, Father, for this platform. Thank you for this broadcast. Thank you, Father, for the grace you have given us to be able to operate under your platform. Thank you for all your faithfulness in the life of as many as you have touched and many you will still touch. Thank you, Father, for all your loving kindness. You said in your word, you have built your church and no gate of hell will prevail. Lord, we thank you for not allowing the enemies to prevail over your will concerning this program. We give you all the praises, accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. We thank you for all the life of brethren, Lord, washing us tonight. King of glory, we appreciate you take preeminence in Jesus' name. Daddy, we gather again today. Your word say, gather my sins together. Do that made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Father, as we gather here tonight, let your mighty presence gather with us in the name of Jesus. Let signs and wonders manifest in the life of many. Oh yes, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us experience, Lord, a full-blown turnaround for excellence. Let breakthrough, O oh Lord, increase, O oh God. Father, let your light shine. Let darkness diminish and disappear. Let glory come down. Upon us and upon as many, Lord, O oh God, as we witness this broadcast tonight. Father, we thank you for showing us so much kindness, for showing us so much mercy. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Beloved, this is a new year. I want to assure you, the Almighty God will do mighty wonders in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Isaiah 43, verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19, Isaiah 43, verse 19, he said, Behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? He said, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God has promised to do a new thing in your life, in our lives. Whether it's in your family, it's in your career, business, academics, marriage, or ministry. When God makes his promises, he never fails. I pray that God, the Almighty God, will fulfill this great portion concerning our lives, your lives, tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says in his word, he said, the thought we have, he has to us of us is of good and not of evil, that we might have an expected end. And that's why I want you to pray in this segment before we go into our major team tonight. Let's open our mouth and begin to thank God once again for seeing us through, Lord, that last 365 days in the year. Let's thank him and appreciate him. For showing us so much mercies. Because the Bible says by his mercies we are not consumed. By his help we are not consumed. Let's thank him for keeping and securing us as his people. Let's worship him in his majesty. For there is none like him, none can compare with him. Let's appreciate him all the way. Our God is good. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's be clear humble ourselves before his presence. The Bible says if they are called by my nation, I humble themselves. And turn away from their wickedness. Seek my face. I will look down from heaven and heal their life. One of the fundamental ways to assess the presence of the Most High is brokenness and a concrete heart. Let's come before him now and begin to ask God for mercy. That in any way we have come short, that the Almighty God will have mercy. Father, we come before your presence tonight. Lord, please have mercy upon us, your people. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us our sins. In whichever way, Lord, who God arise, Lord, to heal us tonight by the power of your word. Come and transform our spirit, soul, and also our body. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now you're going to pray the following prayers for yourself. Let's first begin to plead the blood of Jesus upon our life tonight. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, upon your life, upon your endeavor, upon everything concerning you. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus upon our spirit, soul, and body. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our lives in every area. Let your blood avail for us tonight. Let your blood travel for us. Let your blood prevail on our behalf. Let the power of your blood heal, deliver, and transform us in every area in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. We're going to pray the following. You're going to pray the following prayers for yourself right now. I want to beg you, please, don't close your mouth. You're going to pray. Say, Father Lord, by your power in this new year, I will make significant progress. In every area of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father Lord, by the reason of your mercy. Yes, by the power in your name. I, Olu, will make significant progress in year 2022 more than ever before in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray for yourself. That I, we will make significant progress. We must make significant progress in year 2022 in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we will make significant progress in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Pray this one again. Say, Father Lord, come and bless me with manifold blessings of sonship in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless me and my family with manifold blessings of sonship in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless me and my household with manifold blessings of sonship in the name of Jesus. Bless me and my family with manifold blessings of sonship in the name of Jesus. Bless me and my family with manifold blessings of sonship in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Remember tonight we are looking at the recipe for good success in the new year, in year 2022. Amen. And we did told us that the success of any man, woman, is rested on a tripod. On a tripod of the word of God, prayer and faith. Amen. A tripod of the word of God, prayer and faith. These three things, don't joke with it this year. Because on them rests your success. On them rests your breakthroughs. On them you rest your excellence. I pray God will give us grace in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray like this again. Say, my Father, my Father, my God. Give me faith that will increase my intimacy with you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me faith 
that will increase my intimacy with you this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give me faith that will increase my intimacy with you this year. Give me faith that will increase my intimacy with you this year. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, O oh Lord, fill me with extraordinary faith. Say, fill me with extraordinary faith. And make me your battle axe this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, fill me with extraordinary faith. And make me your battle axe this year. Fill me with extraordinary faith. And make me your battle axe this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fill me with extraordinary faith. And make me your battle axe this year. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Father, Lord, by your mercy, let your spirit guide me throughout this year and give me good success in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your spirit guide me this year and give me good success in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your spirit guide me this year and give me good success in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, Father, Lord, this year I rely on you. I will hold my peace and you will fight my battle for me in the mighty name of Jesus this year. I rely upon you. I will hold my peace while you fight my battle for me. This year, I will hold my peace while you fight my battle for me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Power to pray and not to faint. Possess my life in this new year. In the mighty name of Jesus, power to pray and not to be a prey and not to faint. Possess my life this year. Power to pray and not to faint and not to be a prey. Possess my life this year. In Jesus' name we pray. My prayer life will not be dumped this year. As the Lord liveth and the Spirit is alive. My prayer life will not be dumped this year. I shall not be dumped prayerfully this year. My mouth shall open wide. And I shall speak in faith. I shall pray in faith. In the might of his power this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. My prayer life will not be dumped this year. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, O oh Lord my God. Every mountain of ignorance tormenting my life. Clear them away this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Clear them away this year. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say, O Lord my God this year, empower me with your word. Empower me with prayers. Empower me with faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. That all my mountains may move. In the name of Jesus, empower me with the word of God. Empower me with your with prayers. Empower me with divine faith that my mountains may move. Empower me, Lord. Empower me, Lord. I need your empowerment. I need your empowerment. I need your empowerment. I need your empowerment. I need your empowerment, Lord. I need your empowerment this year. Oh, yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, most wonderful. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I pray God will answer our prayers in Jesus' name. We are still going to pray at the hour of our strategic, but very quickly let's listen to what we have for tonight. Amen. Remember, we are looking at recipe for good success in the new year. Recipe for good success in the new year. Amen. And what are those recipes rested upon? They are rested on prayers and the word and faith. Praise the name of the Lord. They are rested on on prayers, the word of God, and faith. Praise the Lord. There is a connection between the three. There is a nexus. Amen. That one cannot do without the other. When you say you are praying, you can't do without the word. When you say you are you have the word, you are you are you are you are, you are reading the word or trying to know more about the word, there's no way you can divorce it from prayers. And there's no way faith will not play a role in this all very important combinations. I pray God will give us grace to be able to do the needful in our lives in Jesus' name. It is instructive to note what is in John 15 verse 7, that there is a connection between faith, between prayers, and also the word of God. And what the Bible says, any word Jesus speaks in the Bible, you need to take that word very seriously, because Jesus himself is the word. Amen. The book of St. John says from one, he said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. But it was everything made. If you want new things to be made in your life this year, don't joke with Jesus' Word. Because He is the Word. Amen. Once you hold it firmly and tightly, I tell you, victory is sure all the way. May that be our portion. May that be our portion this year in the name of Jesus. In John 15 verse 7. John 15 verse 7. Very instructive. 
If ye, if ye abide in me, what does that mean? If ye abide in me means if you have faith. Amen. Faith as a function of be belief. Faith as a function of trust. For you to abide in something, you must trust that thing. You must believe that thing. If ye abide in me, that means you have faith. And my words abide in you. Amen. He said, ye shall ask whatever ye will, and it shall be done to you. If you abide in me, hold on to me, trust me, re depend on me, rely on me, and your my, my word abide also in you. Whatever you ask in prayers, it's already done. It's a done deal. I pray God will give us understanding this year in Jesus' name. So these are the recipe we are talking about and we are discussing tonight for us to have great excellence and success in all our way. In many homes today, in many lives, these three elements have been absent. Men just, just want to go to church and exhibit all of that traits, all of that characteristics. But these important three elements are missing all the time in their lives. They want to engage in any other thing, but they don't want to soak in, self, in themselves the world. They want to engage in any other thing, but they are not conscious enough. They are forsaking the altar of prayers. They want to engage in another thing, but they do not have sufficient faith. Even when the Bible says, even if your faith is as small as as small as as a mustard seed, you move your mountain. They are not ready, and that's why there is deluge of mountains in many life that have refused to move because they are men and women of faith are not expressing their authority in the Lord. I pray tonight by the power of His presence. The Lord will deliver us from this evil yoke tonight in Jesus' name. In Hebrews 11 verse 6, it tells us about the importance of faith. Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He that cometh to God must believe, amen, that he is God, and that he is also a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Praise the name of the Lord. Faith and prayers are vitamins of soul. Faith and prayers are vitamins of soul. Faith and prayers and the word of God are vitamins of soul. Man cannot live in good health without them. What did I say? Faith, prayers, the word of God are vitamins of soul. Man will never be able to live in good health without them. Praise the Lord. Remember what he said in his word? He said he sent his word, and his word he let them. Amen. 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 Faith is demonstrating courageous trust in God. It is indispensable in the journey of every believer, without exemption. The Bible affirms that no one can please God and get the best from him without faith. Amen. It is not the belief that God will do what you want, but that God will do what is right. Faith is commended and rewarded in the Old and New Testament of the Bible. Of course, we know that Hebrew 11 is devoted, is the hall of fame of men who exhibited great faith in the Bible. Amen. They are referred to as the hero of faith. I pray God will give us grace tonight in the name of Jesus. The first reward of faith, we are starting with faith because when you have faith, amen, faith, as we are talking about him, maybe as a function of belief, as a function of divine strength to move on, when you have faith, you will ask whatever you will and it will be done. And faith is so connected to the word that without the word, you can't even have faith in the first place. The Bible says, the, 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 the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Fear also, which is the opposite of it, also come by hearing, and hearing by the word of the devil. The Bible says, whose report are we going to believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. The report says we are whole, we are, we, are, we are sound, we are healed, we are delivered. That's the report you should be believing this year. Don't believe the report of the economist. Believe the report of, word, of powers in the world. Believe that, of the report that says oh, people will die, they will not live. Or there will be trouble here and there. No, that is not our portion. Believe rather the report of the Lord. Because he knows better about the world. He is the maker of heaven and earth. Praise the name of the Lord. 
So the first reward of faith is that it gives us access to God. Without faith, we can't access Him. By whom also we have access by faith unto His grace, where we will stand and rejoice in hope and the glory of God. That's what Romans 5 verse 2 says. Amen. By whom we also have access by faith unto the grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is good. So without faith, we cannot please God, nor walk with Him. It's important we know this. Amen. So if we want to receive mercy from God, we want to receive the grace of help from Him, Amen. We must operate in active faith. We must operate in active faith. If we want to grow in grace and grow productively, spiritually and physically, faith has tremendous reward. So as a believer, as a child of God, you must have faith this year that God will do great and mighty things in your life. And before you can process that, you need to also engage in the, in the realm of praying. You need to be endued in the power. Soak yourself with the anointing of praying. Praying without ceasing, just like 1 Thessalonians 5, 5, 17 says, praying without ceasing, anywhere you may be, even when you don't feel like praying, that's even the time you should pray more. Praying and praying, whether on the road, whether in your car, whether at home, whether on bed, whether on your knees, whether in the toilet, whether anywhere, you must learn the act of praying this year. God did not say you cannot pray anywhere. You must pray everywhere. So that the enemy will not take advantage of us or you. I pray God will deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. When you believe in Jesus Christ and you make him your Lord and Savior, you become an object of God's unfailing, unconditional, perfect and everlasting love. That's one thing. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray God will make those miracles, wonders in our life this year in the name of Jesus. That is concerning faith. On the other hand, Amen. There is power in the use of God's word. There is power in the use of God's word. And the power in the use of God's word depends on prayer. The power in the use of God's word also depends on our prayer life. Praise the name of the Lord. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of the word and the spirit of prayers. I repeat, the Holy Spirit is the spirit of the word and the spirit of prayer. Many do not know that the food of the Holy Spirit is the word. The food of the Holy Spirit is the Word. When you are soaked yourself in the Word, you are feeding your spirit man. A lot of people believe us today, if you look at their spiritual man, is totally rashakut, is totally furnished, no life in their spirit man, because they refuse to dwell on the Word. They refuse to take serious anything that concerns the Word. Oh, it is not just a mere saying when the Bible says in the book of Joshua 1 verse 8. It says meditate on this word day in and day out that you might have good success. Meditate on the word day in and day out. That is the only way you can have good success. So one of the fundamental pillars of recipe for good success in this year, besides faith, is the word. And there is connection between faith and the word anyway. You cannot get sufficient faith. You cannot improve your faith life except you are dwelling richly in the world. And by implication, there is also a connection within the faith, the word, and prayer. Oh, the Bible made it clear for us in that John 15. He said, if my, if, 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 if my word abide in you, amen, you will ask whatever you will and it will be done accordingly. Amen. John 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, that's your faith in God, and my word abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray the good Lord will give us grace tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. So there is power in the world, beloved. There is power in the world. There is power in the world. And also there is power in prayer. Lead to prayer, lead to power. No prayer, no power. Much prayer, much power. In fact, the Bible admonished in Luke 18. It said, men should not faint. Rather, they should rather pray. No matter the condition be, be, be trying to be, distract your attention, never you faint. Fainting will not solve the problem. Crying will not solve the problem. When situations are not palatable, 
the best way to come out and get your victory faster is by praying. Go on your knees. Go on your knees. Praying and say, Lord. The Bible says, as many as we call the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call his name, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come and save me. And surely it will come to your rescue. He never fails in his promises. And I pray that will be a lot of portion this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our God is good. Very quickly, we are going to look at the scripture. In Luke 18, verse 1 to 8. Luke 18, verse 1 to 8. Concerning prayer there. He said, and he spake a parable unto them to this end. That men also ought to pray and not to faint. Men ought to pray and not to faint. Saying there is a city, a judge. We fear not God, neither regarded man. I'm, look, I'm reading Luke 18, verse 1 to 8. Luke 18, 1 to 8. And there was a widow in that city. And she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversaries. Avenge me of my adversaries. Avenge me of my adversaries. He kept on disturbing the Lord on the altar of prayer. Many of us today, when we come before him and pray small, short prayer, we are tired. We don't come again. You must continue to remind God as long as he is here to do that in your life. This woman, this widow, continue to ask God, avenge me of my adversaries. Avenge me of my adversaries. The Bible says in verse 4 of what we are reading, Luke 18, And he will not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God nor the God man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her. Lest her continual coming, she weary me. Praise the Lord. That was a man... They are addressing a man here because of the persistence of this widow, because of her consistency, because of her determination that judge avenged her adversaries. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge said. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he be long with them? Verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night Unto him, though he be along with them, will God not answer our prayers? Even though sometimes, sometimes it's as if it's as if we tarry a little. When you are working with God, you need to learn how to wait. They that wait upon the Lord alone are the ones that renew their strength. If you are not ready to wait, you want to do things your own way, you will walk yourself into evil. You will walk yourself into danger. Many did not wait for their time. Rather, they want to do it fast, fast way in their own way. They suffer the consequences. They burnt their fingers. May that not be your portion this year in the name of Jesus. There is no other way by which men can make it in this life. No other way, I repeat. The only way is the way of the law. He alone gives the power to make wealth. He alone gives the power to make it in this life. His blessings is a blessing of great joy. It had that no sorrow. The one you will get from the world and from the devil. As soon as he's giving you one cobble, he will collect one trillion from your hand. As soon as he's giving you in one hand, in one thing, he will use it to afflict your life all the days of that life. It may that not be our portion this year in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 8, Amen. Hear what the Bible says. Luke 18 verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? You can see, we are talking of prayer here. And it's connected to faith. Just like we talked about the Word of God. And how it connected to prayer. And how it connected to faith. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray the good Lord will give us grace today. And will give us victory in all our endeavor this year. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is good. Amen. So we need to talk to God. Just like I said, you can't be praying alone without having the word. That's another problem with believers of this age. They are so ignorant. They are so ignorant, they are not ready to learn of the Lord. They are not ready to wait upon him to learn at his feet. And there is power in that word. And let me tell you, it is not prayer that heals. It is the word of God that heals. Amen. The Bible says he sent his word, and his word healed all 
them of all their infirmities. It's what he left them. Amen. Even though we know there is a connection between the word, prayers, and faith, praise the name of the Lord. It is the word that he let. It is our authority, our staff of authority, the word, praise the name of the Lord. What are the benefits of the word? Let's quickly run through some of these few. It's very important. Amen. What are these benefits we are talking about here? Of the word. Remember what the Bible says in Psalms 115 verse 105. Psalms 119, sorry, Psalm 119 verse 105. 119 verse 105. He said, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. A man without the word does not have a light in his path. And how would a man be blessed when he's, when he's, when he's dwelling in, in, in deep darkness? Your word is a lamp unto my feet to give me direction and a leading. And a light to my path. Of course, number one benefit of us knowing the word is for us to receive direction. Because we'll be directed day in, day out. Just like David was always directed before he takes any answer. We'll be directed day in, day out. Number two benefit of us knowing the word is answered prayers. Answered prayers. Just like we read in John 15 verse 7. If you abide in me and my word abide in you, you ask whatever you wish and to be done unto you. If you don't have the word, it will be difficult for your prayers to be answered. If you don't have the word of God in you, it will be difficult for you, for you to have success in the land of the living. The Lord himself promised success. Praise the Lord. He alone promised success. Joshua 1 8, meditate on this word day in and day out, that you might have good success. Praise the Lord. Amen. And just like we said, there is a nexus between the word, prayers, and faith. Number three reasons or benefits of the word is that it will strengthen your faith. Our faith needs the manure, needs the food to prosper, to strengthen. In the same way, body needs food to remain strong. When a person is eating regularly, day in, day out, of course, it will strengthen your body system. That's what it is supposed to do. Amen. So faith comes from, from hearing, and hearing through the word of God, it will strengthen your faith. Without that, you have a very weak faith all your life. And that's exactly the condition with many. They lament a lot, complain, talk all manner of things. They have swear not to touch their Bible or read it. They don't care. They can watch a movie for one million hours. Do all manner of other things. Stay in saloon for, for 10 hours in a day. Move around, run, running all over the place. out of. But they have neglected the major principle God has put in place. For you to have success, you need that word. You must read it. Rehearse it before your children. Read it on the rooftop. Read it on your road out. Read it when you are in, when you are out. Share it around. Tell others about it. The word of God is the power of God. What other benefits are there for the world? Because it is not only that which strengthens faith, but it's also the food of our spirits. A man without the word of God will remain furnished all his life. We may dry. We may dry. Can you imagine when you see a plant that is not nourished, that is not wet, always dry. That plant will not grow well. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the council of the God, did not sit in the seat of his comfort. But whose delight is in God, on his law he meditate day and night. He says, Such a man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That word is water, it waters your spirit, man. You are fresh spiritually every day. You are not dry. Ah, we need to learn all these things this year so that our success will be faster. There are no other way outside it. That is the only way for our success. Praise the name of the Lord. So what the world does for you is nourish you to be mature. It nourishes you to be mature. Praise the name of the Lord. It nourishes you to be mature. Matthew 4 verse 4 says, Life is much more than food and pleasure in the world. Amen. It nourishes you to be mature. Another benefit of the world is that it builds you up and makes you resist temptation. Remember what the Bible says. Amen. It builds you up and makes you resist temptation. It says, Thy word abides in your heart, in my heart, that I may not sin against you. 
Thy word have I hidden in my heart, that I may not sin against you. Other benefits of the word is that it gives you instruction of what to do. You are not ignorant, you are not a novice. You know what to do at all times. People cannot just come from anywhere and begin to fool you around. As many have been fooled today all over the world by some strange prophet somewhere, by some strange people here and there, telling you to do those things that are unusual. Oh, how can you ask a woman to be naked? Naked. Oh, when you are naked, your prayer will be answered. Who, who told you that? Praise the Lord. So it gives you instruction. The word of God gives us instruction. Amen. It gives us instruction. Allow the Bible says we should study, study to show ourselves approved. Second Timothy 3. Study to show ourselves approved. The workman that need not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing word of truth. Another benefit the word of God does for our life is give us conviction. It gives us strong conviction about what is true about our God. Praise the name of the Lord. It gives us strong conviction about what is true about our God. People cannot push you around anywhere. You know what you are doing. Amen. The word of God also corrects us. At, in our life, we are like children in the hand of God. We need this divine correction all the time. Anyone that wants to resist correction, oh my God, automatically is cut out from the presence of God. You, we need to be corrected at all times. We are not perfect. We are not doing it correctly all the time. So the word of God will come and it will give us correction. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The book of Psalms 139, verse 23 and 24. Psalms 139, verse 23 and 24. He said, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thought. And see if there will be any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way of everlasting. So the word of God is there to correct us at all time. The more we read it, the more we are corrected from all our imperfect works. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God will also train us in righteousness. It will train us in righteousness. We are novice. We don't know what and what is right or wrong. And that's why we, have to, we always ask many, many questions. We are asking too many questions because we are not taking time to study the word. When you study the word, I tell you, you come to know what is and what is supposed to be. You become like the children of Issachar who have understanding of times. They know what Israel ought to do at all time. The word of God will train you in righteousness. Amen. The word of God will also equip you for every good work, just like we saw in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17. Study to show yourself approved the workman that need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. It will equip you for every good work. That is the word for you. The word of God will clarify all the thoughts and all hidden motivations in your life. All the sinful motivations. The word of God will clear it away. Amen. Amen. The word is also so powerful that it will give us freedom. Amen. It will give us freedom. That was what our master Jesus Christ did when he was when he was when he was uh, was approached by the evil one, the devil. And each time before he talks anything or makes a passionate decree, he will say it is written according to this, according to that. What is written concerning you? Have you learned anything that is written? You need to learn the word. You need to know the word. In their light, our freedom. In that word, light our freedom. Every now and then, we want issue or the other in our life, infirmity, sickness, problem, trouble, yoke. You are not enjoying your life to the fullest. You know it. Hearing light your freedom, the word. Amen. I pray God will give us grace to understand in the name of Jesus. Our God is good. The word of God will give us wisdom beyond our years. In fact, the Bible says we will teach... Say, even our senators will teach senators wisdom. We become even a teacher to our own teachers. When you are grounded on the word, remember what Jesus Christ did in the temple. As young as he was, oh yes, as long young as he was, he was teaching elderly people the way and the will of God. That's what the word of God does. It gives you supernatural wisdom, not native wisdom, not the one wisdom the 
they, well, people people have when they take snuff and take cola nut. Not that kind of native wisdom. The word of God will give you supernatural wisdom. When words come out from your mouth, when the will say, ah, ah, is it a God that is talking or a, or, or a human? Because you become an oracle of the Most High God. Every word you speak makes a meaning. Nothing can be put into the ground concerning whatever you say at any time. I pray God will take us to this level in the name of Jesus. What other thing that the world does in our life? It revives souls. It revives souls. Remember what Psalms 19 verse 7 says. It said, the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The word revives souls. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The word of God revives souls. The word of God revives souls. Don't play with the word this year, I beg you. The word of God is a delight. It's a delight. When you eat it, you are mightily blessed. You are mightily favored. Amen. The Bible says, how sweet are your word to my taste. Sweeter than only to my mouth. Psalms 119 verse 103. How sweet are your word to my taste. Sweeter than only to my mouth. The word of God is a delight any day. To the, light, to the spiritual vitality of any life. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God heals and cleanses. Amen. The word of God heals. Ephesians 5.26 It says that, we might sancti that he might sanctify her. Having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. By the washing of water with the word. By the washing of water with the word. That word cleanses a person, no matter how filthy you may be. By the time you read it and take it in, it's like if, as if you are taking your bath in the bedroom. You are washing away all the deaths of your life. All those deaths will begin to leave you one by one. Will begin to clear away. Amen. Ephesians 5.26 That it might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. What other benefits are there? Others are impacted by your life and service. Men and women will see what you are doing and they will appreciate. That, oh, God is so mighty in the life of this brother. He's so mighty in the life of this sister. Others are impacted positively. And you will witness Christ very easily because already you are soaked with knowledge. You have the knowledge of the word of God. You will witness. Nothing will come will take you unawares. Even those that want to take advantage, that want to scheme against your knowledge, they will fail woefully. Others are impacted by that word that is in you also. Praise the name of the Lord. What other benefits are there for the word? Of course, just like we said in Joshua 1.8, that we should meditate on this word day in and day out, that we have good success. The word also brings blessings and prosperity to our doorstep. The word of God brings blessings and prosperity to our doorstep. Amen. Have you not seen it? He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sit in the seat of his comfort, but whose delight is in the law of God. And on that law he meditate day and night. He said, Such a man, such a woman shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bearing forth his fruits in season and out of season. He went on further to say, His leaves shall never wither. I pray for you this year. Your leaf will not wither. Nothing good in your life will, 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 will you lose in the mighty name of Jesus. I say again, I say your leaf will never wither. Because of what? You are planted by the rivers of water. You are meditating on that word. On the, on the law of that God, the law of God, you meditate day and night. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God also gives us courage. Yes, and when that courage comes upon us, we are successful already. Remember what the Bible said? One of the ways of waiting on the Lord, waiting on the Lord, and renewing strength is by meditating on the Word. When you wait on Him and renew strength, you read it gently, carefully, look at it, let people teach you, put on videos of men, great men of God, listen to their sermons, get insight, get knowledge, get understanding by what they say, because it will boost you in courage. And make you successful in whatever thing you are doing. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Also, just one more point. Just one more point. In fact, two more. Two more. The word of God will give us endurance and encouragement. We are living in the very trying times. For you to sustain, to endure, 
And to be encouraged, you need the word at all times. Amen. Because when men say, let there be a casting down, God will be telling you, let there be a lifting up. Situations may push you here, push you there. Conditions may not be palatable as you wish. Things may want to turn upside down sometimes. The word of God will sustain you and make you endure. And to encourage you that son, daughter, don't worry yourself. It shall still be well with you. Things will turn, out, turn around again. And on that you will hold on to us, the promise of the Lord. You will not be like some who small thing happened to them, they went and killed themselves. They lost in one battle of life, they went and killed themselves. That was the way Samson did. He said he wants to die with his enemy. Who told you? With all the promising promises God gave Samson, that you will save your people, you will be a champion of your people, you will be victorious, you will fight for them, you will be their good judge, Blah, 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 blah. But because the man was distracted by too many things. Amen. He said he wants to die. Amen. When the word of God is rich in you, you will value life. And Jesus himself is the only one that gives that life. The one who terminates life and who kills life is the devil. John 10.10. 10, John 10.10. 10, the book of John 10.10. 10. He says the thief comes about to kill, to steal, and to destroy. He says, but Jesus has come that we might have life. And have it more abundantly. Praise the name of the Lord. Lastly tonight. What other benefits do we enjoy from God's word? It will equip us to stand in the face of spiritual warfare. Listen. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. We are in the spiritual world. A lot of spiritual transaction is taking place day in and day out. If you think whatever thing you are seeing in the plane of this faith world. Is physical. You deceive yourself. You, in fact, you are lost. There are too many spiritual transactions going on in the realm of the spiritual, and those are the things that are determining what is happening in the physical. Do not allow another person to control your own destiny. Engage in spiritual warfare. Fight the good fight of faith. Allow somebody to stay somewhere and be manipulating your life into confusion, manipulating your life into losses. Manipulating your life into one problem or the other. Wake up, thou that sleepest, and Christ shall give you life. Pray yourself out of their evil dungeon, out of their evil coven, out of their evil cage. Pray yourself out. Because when men say, let there be a casting down, God will say, let there be a lifting up. You see, arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The Bible admonishes you to fight the good fight of faith, so that we don't suffer the unf unfortunate suffering of of, 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 of unbelief. You must fight the good fight. Wake up. Be revived and pray for yourself. Stop depending on one man of God or the other. You are a woman of God. You are also a man of God. Pray for yourself. Amen. Prayer can never be too much. It will only be too little. I've never seen anybody anywhere that they say the prayer was too much. Now lie. It can only be too little. Wake up and pray for yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Engage in spiritual warfare. And the word of God will equip you to do that. We don't have all the time. I pray tonight that the Almighty God will transform our lives, transform our spirit, transform our souls, and make us who God wants us to be in Jesus' name. Remember the longer and short of what we are discussing tonight is the three connectivity between prayers, between the word, and faith. Once you have these three in your life this year, I tell you, success is inevitable. Whatever you want to do, I tell you, you will go far. And I pray that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. But you know what? Without you first giving your life to Christ and becoming God's friends in all ramifications of things, it will be difficult for you to accomplish this thing we just discussed. Without you, First, surrender your life and your will to God Almighty to take charge and ask the Holy Spirit to drive the affairs of your life. It will be difficult or practically impossible to achieve in these three things we just discussed. Faith, prayers, and the word of God. You need to surrender your life to Christ. Surrender your will to him and let him drive your life. All the while you have been in charge yourself, nothing has come out. Give God the chance to do mighty wonders concerning your life. And before you can do that, you need to make Jesus your friend. You may know to make the Almighty God your friend. Amen. You need to become one of his own son, 
one of his daughters. Praise the name of the Lord. Because there are many reasons why God wants us to be saved. Everything is for our own advantage. Oh, our time is really running. There are many reasons why God wants a man to be saved. Number one reason why he wants us to be saved is because he wants to secure our interest in this world. He wants to protect us. He wants to protect us in this world. He wants to secure our interest. That's number one reason. So that when you make covenant with him by, by your sacrifice, God will take your battle to become his own battle. Number two reasons why God wants us to be saved because he wants to bless us. Bless us with soundness, with health, with, mess, with blessings, with favor, with finances, with good job, with opportunities, with good marriage, good children, everything good, 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 good around about us. He wants to bless us. And if we are not giving and surrendering our life to him, how will he be able to bless us? Amen. He will not give what pertains to children to dogs. God will not give that thing blessings which he has reserved for his own children and be giving it to outsiders who are worthy, who are wicked, who are, who, are, who are terrible in the world. No, it won't operate that way. God wants to bless us. And before he can bless you, you need to give your life to him. And number three reasons, listen attentively. I said number one is because he wants to keep and protect us in this world and fight our interest for us. Number two, he wants to bless us in this world. And number three is even much more than this world. God wants to secure our eternity. He knows the day of man in this world is short. Wherever you are looking at me from, no matter what you do, if you like, put on the best mirike, use the best costumes, use the best uh, cosmetics. You can't stay more than 150 years in this world. You can't stay more than 150 years here. How do you compare 150 years with your eternity? God wants to prepare us and secure our eternity. That's number three reasons. Jesus himself said so. He said, I go to my father to prepare a place for you. Amen. He said, my father's house are many, king, are many mansions. I go there to prepare a place for you. God knows our sojourn here is like a journey coming to do one or two things. We are surely going to go back. Don't over-exaggerate. Don't overrate yourself. One day you no longer be in this plane. If Jesus tarries. But what is important here is that God wants to secure our eternity. Methuselah was 900 and something years here, but wherever he is now, he has spent longer years than that. Know that we came from God and we are returning back to him. We will surely spend more years wherever we are going. Amen. Than what we are spending here. And that's the more reason why you need to quickly make friends with Jesus. Don't procrastinate. Do it while you are still living, because to him that is joined to the living, there is hope. Once a man is dead, that is the end. No more opportunity of salvation. They say a word is enough for a wise. Let's bow down our heads now, and let's begin to ask God for mercy. And Lord, touch me tonight. Empower me tonight by this word. Let me be a partaker of your divine nature. To know you by your word, to read your word day in and day out, to pray as many times as possible. And to be a man of full of faith. When you operate in this level and realm, the Holy Spirit is inside you 24-7. I pray that shall be our portion tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you there? You want to give your life tonight? Very quickly, say these few lines of prayers with me. Say, Father Lord, thank you once again for this opportunity. Thank you for another chance. I know I have missed many opportunities in the past. Lord, this morning, this night, show me mercies. Take me back to you. Cleanse me, wash me, make me whole, and make me your son or your daughter indeed. Thank you, Father, for hearing me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Are you there if you have prayed that prayer with me? I want your faith to agree with my as I pray in this direction with you. My Father, my God, I commit this once into your hand. We have decided to come to make a covenant with you by sacrifice. Lord, have mercy upon them. According to your promise, I say, even if their sins are as red as crimson, you can make them as white as snow. Come and show them mercies. Come and transform their lives. Come and heal them. Come and deliver them. Come and make them new. You are able to do it. Turn a sinner to a saint. Come and do it in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let old things be passed away. And let every other thing become renewed in the life of these ones. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. When you shall be saving these ones, and deliver them, even in eternity, 
Let me and my family not be a castaway in the mighty name of Jesus. We cover, I cover this, we cover our lives, our victory in the pool of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I have an advice for you if you have just given your life to Christ. Number one, begin to look for a church where God is worshipping truth and the spirit, whether physically, virtual, or whatever. Make sure you are connected to the worship with the brethren. Amen. Number two, begin to read the word. The word of God is important for you. That's the only way. Don't just say you remain there. You need to nurture that faith. You need to work out your salvation with trembling and fear. One of the ways to do it is to continue to read the word of God and to continue instantly in prayers. Be prayerful at all times. That's number three. And number four, forsake every assembly of ungodly and righteous people. Man, it will take you back to your vomit. Stop making friends with those that will derail your destiny. People that will turn your destiny upside down. May God deliver us from this evil age in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is good. Our time is far spent. We have just few prayers to pray because we are in the hour of our strategic right now. Out of the five stones David took to unleash against the Goliath, the giant of his life, it's only one stone that he released and the giant was dead. The same thing applies to your prayer tonight. That prayer once you pray passionately in your spirit, even if it's one, I tell you, every giant trouble in your life, every situation that is not palatable, every confusion, every trouble, misfortune, sorrow, contrary thing, they shall give way by fire, by thunder, by the reason of that prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our God is good. I want you to pray. We just have a few minutes. Amen. You are going to pray. Say, power. To conquer my adversaries. Power to conquer all my adversaries. Possess my life now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power to conquer all my adversaries. Possess my life now. Possess my life now. Possess my life now. Possess my life now. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Say arise O Lord my God. And let all my enemies be scattered. In the name of Jesus. Arise O Lord my God. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let all my enemies be scattered. Let all my enemies scatter. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Three more prayer points. Say any power anywhere sitting on my prosperity. Be all seated by fire. Be all seated by thunder. Be all seated by fire. Be all seated by thunder. Be all seated by fire. Be all seated by thunder. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say power to make it this year. Power to be a light and not darkness. Possess my life now. Possess my life now. Possess my life now. Possess my life now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Take the final word like this. Say any altar anywhere. Sacrificing my divine opportunity this year. We neutralize you. We command you to scatter by fire. Scatter by thunder. Scatter by fire. Scatter by thunder. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As you have prayed that prayer, may the Almighty God bless you richly in this season. May the light of God shine out about you. It is well with you. Go in this your peace and might and prosper. In year 2022. God bless you as you join us again next Thursday. You are highly lifted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.